Once more, you're welcome to Ostino Integrated Farms. Today, we're going to be showing us some of the things that we need in the process of hatching or spawning. I want to mention some very important items. We will have our scale. We have our pH reagent. We have our bowl and our spoon. We have ordinary water. Then we have uh, salt, your regular salt. And uh, a small bowl for collection of milk. Then you'll need your razor blade for tearing the meal open. So these are some of the few things that you will be needing. And meanwhile, these are the boot stops to be used for this exercise. They are ready. In a few minutes time, we'll be getting some of their eggs. Some of them are still releasing their eggs already. So we need to be fast with this. In this video, we're going to be showing you the process of hatching catfish. Already we showed you some of the things that we need. So we're going to be starting with the extraction of the male uh, gonads, which is the milk. The stock we're going to use here, this is the male. Uh, the first thing you need to do to know the male that you have or what you want to do is you get your scale ready. A scale is at zero. So we're going to weigh a male fish. What do we have there? We have about 1.8 kg for the male fish. For those who do not know what a male catfish looks like, a male catfish, look at the genital papilla. It's extruded, comes out. This is the difference. It's long and plumpy. That's a male genital papilla for a catfish. So we're going to be cutting it open to see. Before we cut it open, anyway, we need to have our saline water. Let's see the procedure for doing our saline water. The procedure for our saline water is you will get a liter This is one liter of water and this water should be borehole water or normal water. Don't use a pipe bone water that has been treated with chlorine. It will spoil your work. You don't have to do that. The next thing is you get your scale and get your salt. Get your scale, get your salt. We measure nine grams of salt. Good. This is 9 grams to a liter. What we want to do now is to make our saline water. You pour this 9 grams of salt into 1 liter of water. Here we have our saline water. You need this saline water to make the milk immobile. So that uh, the sperm will not just be active immediately. This saline water puts it in a dormant state. That's why you need it. You don't need any ordinary water around you. All you need is saline water. So we are done with that. The next thing we are going to do is to get the milk out of the meal. So, to be very stubborn, so what you do, you tear it, you 
you have to cut it open very neatly you have to cut it open very neatly we're going to we're searching for the milk now so it has a lot of oil the milk we have here the first one is a bit small this is what we're after it's okay though it's not big but you can see the whitish edge that's what we're after usually there are two let's search for the second one right. this is the second one so this is how you extract your milk saline water on ground so the next thing is to cut the sperm sac open you can see the whitish uh, substance coming out this is what we need Is what we actually need here. We'll try to get everything out. Now, the way it is now, we'll need a bit of saline water to actually strain everything out here. You can see it. That's the process you need to follow to get every single meal out. So by this action, we have our milk gradually. All this uh, white substance you are seeing is very important at this point. You need every drop of it. So that's the process of uh, extraction. <laughs> 